how did you play when you were a child? How do you think children play today? We want to help children play in their homes, in their neighborhoods, in schools, in museums, and parks, by providing simple materials and help if they ask for it. Pop-up adventure playgrounds are places where children can come and do whatever they please with anything they find. Pop-up adventure playgrounds are happening now in parks, on play streets, in schools and community centers. They're staffed by people who understand how to support play without directing it, known as play workers, and they're made up of the most ordinary of materials. Plastic bottles, cotton wool balls, things that have been found or recycled. Here children are surrounded by objects that they can take and tear and stick together. They have the chance to play in their own way, in their own time, without being rushed or corrected or interrupted. They're making decisions about what they need, what they want, and how to create it. They're cooperating and setting boundaries and learning how to make what they see in their imaginations real in the world. While at play, children are living fully, experiencing the world in all its sensory wonder and creative possibilities. And when children play, really freely play, something miraculous happens. The world alters entirely through the power of their imagination, and it can change again and again and again over the course of a single day. A cardboard box can become a castle, or an igloo, or a rocket ship. A piece of carpet can become a lake. You can paddle across it on a hunt for crocodiles. A child can become a queen, or a fairy, or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And if you're lucky, if you're invited, you get to be a part of it. If you try, if you pay close enough attention and follow their lead and squint your eyes, you get to see the lake that they see. You get to hunt for crocodiles. How did you play as a child? What do you think children need today? Go to popupadventureplay.org to join in.